come into a place of peace and serenity and calmness. I'm going to be your therapist today. They call me Dr. Sydney, so I'm here to assist you and to help you feel better and more comfortable in your own skin and to yourself. Do you have any questions or main concerns to start off? You can let me know while I'm lighting our friendship candle. Uh, the scent is garden rain because it's raining in your heart. sure that we lit, okay? And now that it's lit, we can begin our healing. So you may feel a little uncomfortable at first. I am a stranger. So let me go ahead and unload some baggage onto you. Um, I have been a mother for three years. I have three kids, three-year-old and twins who are six months old, and it's exhausting. Sometimes I feel like I'm losing myself in the chaos. You may be hearing them in the background now, but it's okay because sometimes we all feel lost in ourselves. Sometimes we all feel like our lives are falling apart, but really, they could just be falling into place and we wouldn't know it. So I want you to take one moment to tell me two good things that happened to you today. question to you is why would you focus to why would you choose to focus on the bad when you could focus on the good why would you compare the two now as humans we naturally tend to dwell on what's bad and what not so i don't want you to feel bad about doing that one moment the pain, the anger, and everything else with it. Good. Do you feel a little bit better? A little cleaner, a little pure? not an overnight process. We have to take some time to build coping mechanisms to help us maneuver through these pains and graves and quite frankly just upsetting feelings. So let's take some deep breaths in through our nose. Anytime you feel stressed, why not just become a lemon? You could always just turn into a lemon and forget all your problems. Why not just be a lemon instead? Instead of paying bills, instead of having relationship problems, instead of dealing with life, why not just be a lemon? Isn't that why life gives you lemons anyway? Just think about it. If you were a lemon, how simple would your life be?
and you become a lemon all those things that you love go away with all those things that you hate and you're just a lemon you're nothing you're just sitting there lemony moist sour and yellow and what happens after that just nothing if that's what you truly want then why not be a lemon why not become a lemon He's close now. So we can connect skin to skin. Like a baby coming from its mother's skin. How? Skin to skin we connect in the end and at the beginning. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Don't worry. Everybody feels stressed sometimes. Everybody is tired. Everybody is faking it. Everybody is pretending to put on this facade of greatness when not not everybody's great. That's not always true. But that's okay. Because that's just a secret between you and me, okay? Confidence comes from within. If I'm having a bad day and my kids are being annoying and I go out and I look like garbage, I'm still going to exude confidence because I am confident in the garbage that I look like. I am confident that my kids are fed and taken care of and they have a good mother who may not always look great who can be exhausted. You need to give yourself the benefits of the doubts. You are strong. You are worthy. And you are loved. This isn't just about being a mom. This is just an example I could provide for you. I used to work three jobs. How about waking up every day, going to school, working three jobs just to make sure that the savings account is that. You know, I used to have to, um, you know, be pregnant while working. You know, y'all have seen me pregnant live streaming with the twins. I used to have a desk job while working with my daughter while pregnant. And the stress, it just is what it is because it's never ending. The bills don't stop. You never get a break. Even when you take a break from work, you gotta go back to work. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. It's okay to be stressed. And it's okay to want to just go completely lights out and forget it all but you're here another day you're still trying and that's worth something do it great just as you are every day as long as you're giving good effort and doing your best it's okay Sometimes that's the best you can do, it's the best you can. There's no need to compare yourself to others. It's not a competition. Just gonna unplug the negativity, unplug the pain, unplug the sadness, unplug the bad days, unplug the frustration, unplug the bad people, unplug the fake friends, unplug the negativity, unplug the annoying parents, unplug scheme of things, we're only going to be here for a very, very little bit of time. While Earth will stay and be here as long as Earth wants to stay and be here. So as time is fleeing, and as you are getting tired, I ask, why be caught up on what happened yesterday? Why let the negativity flow through your veins? Why not just take a deep breath in through your nose? your nose with that negativity and just exhale it out just let it go let it go let it go it's okay it's okay it's okay let it go let it go let it go it's okay it's okay it's okay there's an overwhelming there's an overwhelming
overwhelming feeling in society of being great, of being perfect, of being amazing. And imperfect is such a normal quality. Being imperfect is the definition of being human. So I don't want you to go out there thinking that you have so many people to compete with, to compare yourself to. Comparison is the thief of joy. Don't compare yourself to the other parents. Don't compare yourself to the other cool kids. Don't compare yourself to the other people who've got money. Don't compare yourself to the other people who, you know, have a certain amount of food on their table every night or can eat a certain way or can buy certain things. Their life is not yours. Their circumstance is not yours. So it's always going to be different. You may be hard on yourself, but I'm here to soften you up. You may be stressed. moments go by, you realize you wasted them thinking about what you should be in life. As moments go by, you realize you didn't live in them. Take a break from social media if you need to. Take a break from entertainment overall if you need to. Pick up a book. Put down your phone. Just try to give yourself a moment of just thinking about you. A moment of peace. A moment of clarity. Of You don't need to be comparing yourself to these social media people. These are people are lying. People go on social media and they lie. People go on social media and they pretend. You cannot compare yourself to things that you do not know are true. And you shouldn't compare yourself anyway. I'm just a person talking and I'm just here through a screen, but if you're really listening, if your listening ears are on, if you turned on your listening ears for this video, everything's gonna be okay. Things may seem very grim. of your new life is what? Your old life. Your current life. The cost of the life that you want is the life that you have. So yes, things are going to be different. Things are going to change. Things are going to come at you fast. But that's okay. And that's normal. Some people don't like change. If you're anything like my husband and you hate change, then you're just one of those people that can't handle it, don't like it, moved around too much as a kid, might get it. And if you had no stability, then it's hard to handle. But change can be a very good thing. Oftentimes, it is a good thing. It helps you pivot. It helps you change gears. It helps you move into a new flow. You just have to get used to it. You have to be open to it, and you have to be accepting of it. It's like surfing. I've never surfed before, but I imagine it's like being ready for that next wave. You could be mad that your wave is over, or you could be ready to get on the next one. You could be ready to catch it. melt all over your body, okay? I'm gonna clean out that negativity. I'm gonna cleanse you with a clean wipe. I'm gonna wipe away all the negativity. All the pain, anger, frustration, sadness, any negative emotion, anxiety,
things aren't always going to go the way you want them to. But they're going to go the way they have to go. Things aren't always going to measure out how they seem. But it'll all be okay nonetheless. You're going to be fine. Don't worry about the hard times. You're going to be okay. You're not going to go out like this. All that negativity. for now. Just let it go for a minute. Just let it go for five minutes or let it go for the duration of the video and just let yourself be stress-free for a moment. We have a habit of holding on to stress. We have a habit of holding on to those negativities. It's called harboring negativity. We don't want to do that. We want to let it go. 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 decisions when we're unsure. Follow your gut feeling. Whatever your gut says, whatever matches your heart and your brain and your gut, do that. Because oftentimes that's your body signaling to you what is right. Do you often have a bad feeling when something do you often have a bad feeling when something's going wrong? Do you have a bad feeling and you can just tell something's off? That's your gut. Your gut is trying to tell you that it knows best. So listen to it. Listen to it. Listen to it. Listen to it. Trust it. Thank you for sitting.